I am Anil Kumar and here is a thinking and application question from a test paper. The question here is, a campground charges $1.20 to camp for a night. They average 56 groups renting camping sites each night. A recent survey indicates that every $1 decrease in nightly price, the number of camping sites rented increased by 7. What price will maximize? nightly revenue right so that is the question as you know what is revenue revenue is number of items into rate right so in this case it is number of sites so we can say revenue is number of sites rented right times the rate at which they are being rented so that is what revenue is it is product of these two right now as far as the number of sites are concerned, we know it averages 56. So number of sites are 56, which are rented if, if the dollar amount charged, let's say number of sites 56, if the dollar amount charged is $20. Now it says for every decrease in $1, that means if I do minus 1, that means $19, right? Then in that case, we can actually rent out seven more sites that means plus seven here right seven more so it becomes 63 another dollar decrease that means if the rate is 18 dollars then we can rent seven more that means 70 so like this the pattern is followed so if you observe this pattern then if there are n dollars decrease that is to say if we do it n times, this is 1 times, 2 times and so on, then charges will be 20 minus, let us say n times we decrease dollar. In that case, 7 times n will be the number of persons or renting sites will be increased to, right? So it will be 56 plus 7n. So in general, the re revenue will be product of these two. So we can write revenue function as number of sites rented 56 plus 7 times n units decreased in the price in dollars right so it is 20 minus n so that is that is what you get as a relation correct so now let's read this a recent survey indicated that for every dollar decrease in price every dollar so n dollars decrease will result into number of camping sites rented increases by 7 7 n that's the whole idea right so the revenue function can be written as 56 plus 7n times 20 minus n. Now the question is, what price will maximize nightly revenue? Now to maximize this function, we know these two we can give us two intercepts, n intercepts. And midway will tell you the axis on which the maximum can occur, correct? So let's find it out. What is the midway? So first find the n intercepts. That is to say, we can equate 56 plus 7n equals to 0 and 20 minus n equals to 0 and find n. So here we get 7n equals to minus 56, n equals to minus 56 divided by 7 which is minus 8. In this case we get n equals to 20, right? So these are the two values for which the revenue is 0, right? So right in the middle of those two values, we should get the maximum. So the axis, let me now write down, axis is how much? So axis is midway. So midway means minus 8 plus 20 or should write 20 plus 8 divided by, I mean 20 plus minus 8, add them divide by 2. So let me write minus 8 like this, since this is minus 8. Add them, divide by 2, which is 12 divided by 2 equals to 6. That means for a $6 decrease, we should get a maximum, right? So let's find the revenue when it is $6 decrease, right? What price will maximize the nightly revenue? It's only asking for price. So in this case, price is the rate. Let me call this as a price, right? So in our case, the price which will maximize the revenue is... 20 minus n, where n is 6, right? So it is 20 minus 6, that is $14, right? You can also find maximum revenue by substituting 6 here. 
So you get 56 plus 7 times 6, correct? Times, you know, 20 minus 6. So that will give you the maximum revenue in dollars, correct? So that will be in dollars. But in any case, now we know the rate and we can write down our answer that the rate will be $1.40. Correct? So that is how this question should be done. Now, take care. Sometimes they may ask you what is the maximum revenue. In that case, you need to solve for revenue. Okay? That is how you should be doing it. I hope that is clear. Thank you and all the best.